Hey guys, this is Mark with IppleTech128 and in this video I want to show you how you can block, block ad block. This is really crazy and it's super confusing, but here's what it is. So if you have an ad blocker installed like I do right here, I have ad block installed. Many websites may notice that and they may say that you have to disable it in order to use this website. A great example is on Kelly Blue Book right here. It says ad blocker detected. So I want to show you how you can block this ad blocker detected message um, temporarily for the single page on many websites. This is actually not going to work on every single website, so keep that in mind, but you're just going to have to tinker with it and figure it out yourself. But I want to give you the tools for what you need to know on what to look for and how you can go ahead and do this. And I'll do an example right here on this website. So to do this, you kind of have to know a little bit of HTML. You don't really have to, but it's a Good idea to know a little bit of HTML going into this so you're not completely lost because um, it could be a pretty steep learning curve. Um, but what we want to do is right click on the thing that's popped up, so it's this window, and we will say inspect. So this is actually the source HTML for the entire web page, and this is why it's a good idea to know a little bit of HTML because it could get confusing, but it's really not too bad. So in Chrome right here, that has a really great job of showing you exactly what each element is. And what we're looking for is a div tag, a division section of the website where this specific box is at. So if we just keep scrolling up, we can eventually find that. And as you can see, it selected the entire box and it's even ID'd with the name white list overlay. So let's just go ahead and press the delete button once we have this entire thing clicked on. And there you go, it's gone. But how do I, you know, interact the website? How does it work at all? Well, what we want to do is go to this one right here where it's another container that was on top of the other one. We'll just delete that as well. And there you go. You now got um, your website working. You can go ahead and click on buttons, all that sort of stuff. It's um, now working. So it's just going to take a little bit of fiddling around with to try and get the right settings done. Sometimes you may actually have to go in to the styles and maybe change the background color to something that's transparent. Um, just you just have to play with it and um, figure out what is going to work best for the type of blocking that they use. Now I want to show you one more instance where this may not actually work depending on the service that they're using. So right here, this is actually Block Adblock is the um, brand or the company that they're using. And if we go ahead and inspect this element, as you can see, this plugin completely got rid of the entire website's HTML code. For on Kelly Blue Book right here, as you can see, it kept all of that, but it did also um, have the blocking on top, but it kept this entire website code. Or on this one, it does remove every single thing. So you may have to play around with it. As you can see, we could change the background color. If the website is still hidden under there, you can try and look at what's underneath, or you could always just disable your ad blocker. But there you go. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions or you're confused, let me know in the comment section below. I'm a web developer, so I can try and help you. Um, if you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Iapple Tech Quintoy, and I'll see you in the next one.